is uh, my good friend Wylan. A long time with uh, so many wonderful things. It's a nice and simple million pieces of the world. Environmental artist and North Shore resident Wyland announced plans for his 100th and final Wailing Wall on Wednesday during a press conference at the Wyland Waikiki. Of the 99 walls completed since his first in 1981, Wyland painted four in Hawaii, including twin racing holes painted in honor of the America's Cup yacht race in 2000. Hands Across the Ocean will include more than 200 canvases painted with the help of thousands of children from around the world. After 27 years, uh, it, it's great to be back home in Hawaii, and uh, this is my first home, and it has inspired this hotel and my art, and, uh, and now to uh, go to Beijing as the official artist for the USA uh, Olympic team, uh, it's, it, it means it, it, it's, it's the most meaningful thing that I've done in my life, and uh, what's great about this last wall is uh, we're going to unite the the world's children. Uh, I'm inviting all the kids from all 205 Olympic countries to paint uh, aquatic life from their region of the world. So 99 walls in the can, one more to go. This one's going to be over a mile. 205 canvases painted by children from the 205 Olympic countries with me. I'm, I just put on my calendar uh, Groundhog Day. Every day, Groundhog Day. You guys see that movie? Yeah. You're looking at it. So the bottom line is we welcome the kids on July 7th. On the 4th of July, I fly into Beijing. My crew's already there setting up. But we, uh, we start painting hands across the oceans uh, on July 7th. For two weeks, every day, I paint with seven countries in the morning, seven in the afternoon, every single day for two weeks. China paints last. When China finishes that morning, on July 21st, all the children from all the countries, okay, all the Olympians from all the countries, all the friends, as Henry said, united for these kids. We are going to empower these kids to be youth ambassadors for the planet. Along with plans for his final whaling wall, Wyland also named Kapono his ambassador for the planet and said he was ready to approach Governor Linda Lingle with a proposal for a special license plate to raise funds for Turtle Bay. What I propose is that 80% goes to the state to protect Turtle Bay, the land there. I know the governor is interested in protecting that land. 80%, 10% to Jack Johnson's foundation. They're doing a great job. 10% to the Wyland Foundation. See, that's what artists like Henry and I do. We try to give a little bit back.